ng song concept, di ba? So, kailangan yun. Tingnan natin kung ano yung, well, for example, BPO, Sunshine Industry pa rin so far. Ngayon, pero napakalaki na niya sa Quezon City. E di yun ang i-build natin. In fact, I I am very thankful na merong BPOs dahil uh, uh, nakakadagdag yan sa atin sa Quezon City. Pero as far as productivity is concerned, wala naman, wala, transfer of technology, wala namang naibibigay sa atin yun. Eh. Hmm. Dahil wala naman siyang pinuproduce. Wala naman siyang binibuild. Wala naman siyang, wala tayong nire-re-engineer. Uh, unlike uh, South Korea and Japan or perhaps Taiwan or even China, they just tweak a little do sa nakita nila. That's a new thing for them. At least, may productivity as far as uh, the economy is concerned. Pero yung BPOs, parang, okay, sunshine industry. Pero paano kung naging mas magaling na rin magsalita yung mga taga-Vietnam o taga-Thailand o yung ano, di, iwanan din tayo niya. May iwan sa atin dito, building. Or if the Chinese people learn how to speak exactly, English, we're dead. So, <laughs> so, Vietnam is very tiny compared to us. So, so yeah, yeah. But India, at so, the very least. So yun yung aking ano, that's, uh, that's, uh, pero you know, as far as QCPU is concerned, is there are about uh, five or six uh, courses that are being offered there. Uh, I, I think wala, wala pa yata nursing doon. Pero meron doon, ano, uh, entrepreneurship, meron doon, uh, of course, IT, uh, industrial engineering, Mascom, wala ba? Hindi ko lang alam kung may mascom. I'm not really aware. Pero sayang yung koi ka namin doon, yung Korean, ano, yung Korean, uh, parang Korean test na Philippines uh, project. Ang daming computer doon. Kasi Dapat, napakaganda nitong QC. Kung ma-develop tong QCPU, eh, unfortunately, hindi pa na, ano. Well, uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> ang, uh, ang, ano, ang uh, Quezon City Polytechnic kasi, tatlo yung naging approach niya. Meron siyang scholarship na 100%. Meron siyang subsidy na 50%. Mm-hmm. Tapos merong, merong walk-in na full payment. Based on economic uh, study? Perhaps. Saan so, siya nakalagay? Well, meron dito. Yung pinakamay nila sa may barangay San Bartolome. It's owned by the government? City government. Ah, so yes. Okay, ma'am, you had a question. You first then si Marcel. Ah, yun yung question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Isang concern na si, dito. Yung si Marcel muna. Uh, just two questions that I figured should be addressed because uh, on behalf of my my Achi, uh, there seems to be a peace and order mm-hmm. issue that uh, still persists in Quezon City. Just going to Cobao already proves this point. So what, what, what do we want for that one? What do we have in line for that one? And then maybe later last the follow-up. Well, Quezon City is not remiss in modernizing our Quezon City Police District. Mm-hmm. Uh, which was a judge consecutively uh, for four years as the best or outstanding district in the country. Uh, time and again, we have been requesting the Philippine National Police to download as many policemen as possible for Quezon City. But unfortunately, compared to the city of Manila, they download more in the city of Manila than in Quezon City. But comparatively, as far as area and population is concerned, eh, mas, mas kailangan natin dito, di ba? Yeah. But we understand. So what we did was to uh, modernize our equipment. So dapat sigut din ng national government. Bumili ng napakaraming sasakyan, yung aming mobile patrol, uh, SWAT, mga nakamotor na, in tandem sila sometimes. Uh, we already ordered CCTV na hopefully will be installed within the next several months. Uh, we required banks to put up their own respective CCTVs. Pati yung kanilang mga ATM machines, kaya may CCTV na rin. Uh, we are uh, requesting and uh, schools to put up their also their, also their own uh, security systems by putting on CCTV. Na yung, yung online, yung hook up natin lahat. Ah, so naka, lahat yung naka-network sa isang central? Dapat, oh. Maganda yun. So, uh, ang mga purposes to, and, uh, of course, yung anti-kidnapping, anti-carnapping, traffic, traffic, uh, pati yung pagtatrack kapag kami nangyaring insidente, alam mo kung sa dadaan, ng monitor mo, kung nasa ano sila. Uh, and many other uh, uh, benefit kapag nalaglagay tayo ng CCTV. And that, that's gonna be done anytime soon. So, iba yun. Ha? So, yung equipage, hindi naman kami nagkulang doon. Mm-hmm. Training, hindi kami nagkulang. Okay. So it's the national government na talaga ang kulang because right. mas binibigyan nila ng policy yung, I don't know, what, what siguro because the seat of power is there. Mm-hmm. Or dahil sa 
uh, the city of Manila is the you know, is the one well original. So kaya the downloads na nas malaking police doon. And, and we also understand that uh, mas binibigyan din na priority yung mga probinsya natin. Siyo meron sa probinsya, ang chief of police na sa rank ng uh, what? Itang mata siya, ta, lieutenant, pero chief of police siya. Sa isang fifth or sixth class municipality. So parang, tingin ko, eh, kaya city can get by, so national government is addressing the issue of peace and order elsewhere, so we we'll, we'll fend for ourselves. Miss Wen, she has a follow-up question. Ang real estate assessment, nakakomputerize ba kayo? May system na ba? Pwede ni, in what? Real estate assessment. Oh yeah. yeah. Ang hindi na lang namin nagagalaw talaga yung GIS. So, pagka nakagano na kami, nakita na namin, makita na rin namin sino nang dadaya. So, no, no possibility na lang under assessment? Uh, well, kulang ang pagkonekta namin kasi uh, hindi namin ma-identify lahat eh. Not all mga properties pinapayagan ng mga may-aring pumasok ng mga tao natin mo inspect So, katulad ng ginawa nila sa Kabanatuan, nung naglagay sila ng, uh, tama ba yun, GIS, nakita nila na, kala nila napakaliit lang ng property from outside Manipis. Kala nila yun lang ang ginagawa. Yung pala, may likod sila papunta doon sa, papunta doon sa lake or something. So, nahuli yun ang GIS. At malaking bagay din yun dahil uh, makikita mo rin yung, pag, uh, yung growth ng uh, uh, colonies sa Quezon City. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, pwede naman tayo makakuha sa Namriya. So, kung mga kapatay sa Namriya, may kita natin na in 1990, ito lang yung number of people sa isang private or national government land. In 1997, ito na. In 2000, ito na. So, may kita natin yung growth. And from there, ang suggestion nga sa akin ng MMDA is that pagka nakakuha tayo ng map niyan, yung udhalo na requirement in 1992, 1991 na aprobahan. Tapos, two years after, kailangan magkaroon ka ng parang uh, census kung ilan talaga yung beneficiaries ng uh, housing ng pamahalaan, eh, maganda yun. No? Meaning, kung meron tayo niyan, yung 1992 and below, yun ang talagang dapat beneficiary ng housing projects ng national government. Pero yung pataas, hindi na dapat yung maging beneficiary. Pero wala, hindi naman natin nagawa yan, so hindi natin alam kung ano talaga. And over the years, from 1992 to 2002, to, eh, meron din requirement ng batas na pag uh, more than 10, 10 years ka na yata dyan, you are already an automatic beneficiary dapat of a housing project. So these are the things that uh, uh, we really have to uh, look into. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, no, natin. We organize yeah. it. Mesa, it's not organized. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask about uh, if you feel that there is a problem with the population of the city and if you have a particular reproductive, a local reproductive health program that you have in mind. Well, there are two approaches that maraming ginawa maraming ginawa namin. Yung unang approach namin dyan was to come up with a migration information system which we copied from the city of Montenlupa. The primary reason there is to is for security purposes. Kasi karamihan ng mga nahuhuling malaking mga drug hole dito sa Quezon City mga nakatira sa mga either plush, posh subdivisions or yung mga middle class areas. So, from, 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 from that uh, ordinance, hopefully, we're able to track the ingress and egress of people without, of course, uh, 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 encroaching upon their, you know, their, uh, their rights. Uh, Secondly, merong uh, reproductive uh, bill, uh, reproductive health ordinance, mm -hmm. but that is a, you know, it's a different thing altogether because what is more important as far as I'm concerned in population is that uh, we're able to teach our, without the use of, uh, of uh, abortifacients. Okay. Ang para sa akin, 